you know, I can just be chill. And I also want to see what it's like to be a dude out in this heat wearing long sleeves. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this back. Let's go ahead and move forward with this deck. Spirit, I invite you informally on behalf of the collective whole so that we may gain clarity with whatever we need to focus on. Let's let's do this. Okay, we'll see this is the focus for the week, okay? Because we're using tarot cards. It gives us a situation, the layout, the map of the land that we tread or skip through. I don't know why that came about. Let's let's turn it up, right? Let's turn that frown upside down or that smirk into a smile. What what's going on with me? That's okay. It's spirit. It's all good. It's it's all spirit. All right. This is a situation, so sometimes it takes more reflection than a single day, right? Sometimes we don't have time to even just think. We're too busy doing and trying to be when we can't, you know, we just, we're not in that um, frame of mind in order to just be. Yeah, that's what meditation is or an aspect of it. So anyway... Let's extend this to a week focus. And then this daily guidance stuff, you know, let's just go ahead and see how, how far we can apply it. Let's let's see if we can create good habits by tracking ourselves. Let's have a KPI, a key performance indicator, how far we can carry this throughout the week, how many days we can tally up. And depending on what it is that we find in our daily guidance, well, let's see if it's something that can be repeated multiple times in a day. Let's challenge ourselves just a little bit. Just a little bit. All in the right ways. We're getting there, Spirit, aren't we? Okay. So our situation. Let's go ahead and bring in our ancestors to you. Ancestors, wake up. If you're not already here, we're inviting you in. Yes. We'd love to hear what you have to say. You carry the wisdom, generations of experience, the spiritual realm, and other realms that we might not even be aware of. Mm -hmm. Dimensions, I don't know. I don't know how all that stuff goes. Anyway, so I think that frame of mind in, in being more relaxed and less anxiety driven about lacking of knowledge in order to progress ourselves to try something new like the pick a card readings like that I wanted to try and so minuscule in the greater scheme of goals setting but you know it's a baby step on the way there so why not entertain it yeah I, I think that would be great to try so that's what I'm saying is that the lack of knowledge whatever lacking that is expressing you to make choices that are not really reflecting your highest good that's not really is helping you ascend to progress and now let's go ahead and just oh gosh what, what was he saying on that and that whole bit was about subtleties of lacking and the sum of their impacts even drawing back on them can throw me off guard because i realized it was just one big hesitation queen of cups the Queen of Cups is very intuitive in matters of the heart. She's wise in the fact that she takes ownership for the love she gives to her world and manages the reciprocity by keeping a cup filled for herself, maintaining efforts to keep upright in good standing with her cup's contents intact. So she primarily exercises self-love routinely as both a benchmarker and example to others on the rules of engagement. I was hoping to finish this video within a day's time, but spirit wanted me to take a time out for real life experiences that were applicable to the messaging so in real life getting to know a person i had to dictate what i will and won't tolerate the rules can get a little tricky especially if you're not dating the person but they become included routinely in a group that has also changing dynamics to recognize. The trick is not letting it compromise your values. And even trickier is that if it does challenge those aspects to protect the constancy of your personal values and conserve your energy. In this case, I am the only one that can read into this person, but I have to let the details go. I have to see my throne rather than just my role because my role is also evolving as I choose for it not to become archival. So when we approach the Seven of Wands energy, the Queen or King 
is the one that takes the higher road. This is her energy card. And this is the first time that I've, you know, really looked at the deck since just saging it, cleansing it. Okay, that was one. Page of Wands in reverse. Why? It's about finishing what you started, not a lack of creative potential. So in context, it's needing to apply a creative solution to the situation in question. She is playing a violin with her staff. And there are some forest animals also within the same beat. So although she feels like a stick in the mud or in a situation that warrants violin play, she is able to resource the keys within her matrix, the answers of the universe once harmonized. When I did this reading, there were a lot of things going on and a lot to be figured out. While I chipped away at them, I was almost consumed by them. To parallel relationships from person to situation, the details become mind clutter. They become fixated obstacles rather than resources to learn from. This is an example of such. In hindsight, in editing, I'm able to have an objective point of view to rectify the lesson I needed to learn. Okay, these are not done in reversals, so I guess we don't have to do it that way. You know, I went through this like basket of of thoughts when, when I first opened up and I just realized that I didn't finish off something else that I was thinking about. It trips me out. These readings that are so synchronous, oh my gosh, down to the very detail. Because I have, as you can see that in my videos, I've worn my hair down many times just because I just got out of the shower or whatever the case may be. You know, lately, because it's so hot and I'm doing more readings in my car, I have to put my hair up. And so I've been doing this stuff like this. I, I saw a reading and it was talking about relationships and it was, it said something about braids and stuff like that like my nails I was contemplating I, I usually don't do two of the same color right and today I, or yesterday I did and it has like an iridescent mm, blue and indigo and like a blackish tone like yeah you know I, I like it yeah it's good and then uh, the reading like within the next 24 hours is saying something about liking blue or black nail polish I'm like what I've, I've gone through so many readings, so many, like you, you, this is, you guys joke around, right? Like you think, you know, no, no, you think I'm joking around? No, I'm not joking around, like months of binging. Yes, I told you I have addictions, yes, and they, 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 they hop around from one thing to another. Very real, yes. But thank God it's, you know, not, I don't know, something that can land me an STD, right? <laughs> so... Anyway, what's this card? Six of Pentacles. Generosity! That's funny. Because if I was doing like an 18 and up reading, guess what that looks like? <laughs> Look how generous <laughs> that page is. Is it a page? No, it's not. Pages can't do that, can they? <laughs> anyway. In all seriousness, I believe that card was talking about how blessed we are and suggesting to take the higher ground in the act of contributing to the growth of something. That's funny. He's helping something grow. And then he's like, I'd hate to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's, that's enough of that. It's getting hot in here. Look what the heat can do uncomfortable so all right I don't know if this is part of the reading though I'll take it as support mm -hmm. wait I have a foiling page of wands creative and passionate she is witty charismatic and outspoken with her philosophy action is what is important Action is what is important. Let's carry that forward. And that we all have minds of our own. We all have our own philosophy to life, don't we? We have our own philosophy to whatever we do in each role. You know, that holds a capacity for processes and... Yeah, let's just leave it at that, okay? 
Don't want to get too wordy here. Page of Wands. That's going to be our header card. Our motivations card. Expressing our creativity and our drive, yes, to exhibit our own philosophy and hear out the course of the others, right? And action is truly what is important. That's what was getting me frustrated. The lack of action in certain relationships, the, the expression of stagnancy to almost an ignorant, neglectful level regardless of whatever rationale there may be behind it maybe if somebody's in their deathbed yeah but you know all else is like can i just get a crumb and then when you get your crumbs you're like oh f that nah what i deserve so much better than that right action is truly the important thing well then you come down to it to support this concept just think about it in spiritual terms that we are all one and if we are to embody something in order to emanate it then let's think about the mirror right in reverse operation so when we look at another and we see the frustrations within our that, that kind of trigger us to feeling a certain way whether that be positive or negative but we're going to fix with a harmful lower vibration the negative state like the shadow side is what we're going to see is the mirror that's supposed to be our reflection of them okay so what is it that i'm doing that's very parallel mm -hmm. i saw 42 42 also the lack of action right just as I was talking to you about my ongoings of today, that it finally became productive to, at a certain point, but it was very rigid and rugged in process. Almost like you have to tread through, like, the, if you have to even walk on a beach filled with rocks, it's, it's really jagged. It's hard on your feet as you can twist your ankle easily that way. It's different when the, the plane is rugged and it's elevated, but then it's more complex, I would say, if not elevated. You know what I mean. Just going through that, you trip up more if it's on a horizontal plane rather than an angular elevated plane, right? Because each rugged portion of the surface is a step up, if you think about it. That's that's really like what our problems are like, right? And not to judge it be, um, in a negative aspect because each rugged piece is something that projects you further up but when you're looking at a horizontal plane like the horizon and there's um, so much rigidity you can actually trip up to move forward so the trick is to really think about ascension oh that's a good answer spirit that's a really good depiction i would say to think about your problems in a way that it'll help you rise and in that way in that elevated aspect you are gaining more traction than the horizontal plane of complacency holy moly <laughs> you're Spirit is so cool. Okay. Let's go with another card. Action is important, isn't it? To bring that drive, that passion, your philosophies, your creative drive. Oh, you see the color of it? It's yellow. It's golden. It's like the solar plexus, your identity, your creativity. Also your ego, I believe. You know, the... Where does the ego reside? I think that's that's up there, not 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 um, down here. When I first started, I didn't know anything about chakras. You learn as you go, and I believe it affects both. Similar to the heart having a brain, the ego can let your confidence and drive get to your head. That which compels you can motivate you for the wrong reasons: vanity, selfishness, etc. The mentally driven aspects of agendas, which implement a misuse of our creative abilities so a veneer of success is displayed and noticed but we are capable of greater when we ground these endeavors to more substantial means of fulfillment the power of our actions and creative potential are amplified so the ego enables creative misconduct but also the capacity for substantial autonomy past this lifetime the ego, if grounded to more resourceful terms, could act as catalysts for our growth potential. I don't know. We'll go ahead and find out. But the solar plexus, it's, it's illuminated to from yellow to a golden to an amber. You know what's weird? I filmed this late August 2020, got frustrated with the editing process because things just didn't flow right. 
something felt missing in fluency. So I only got through part one. My angels approve of publications only after it's applicable. So I've been wondering what I was missing because the rest of the video kept in limbo. It wasn't until five days ago that I ran into some validation points to the color frequencies and links to the chakras. Diana Cooper explains their colors as radiating points of both the solar plexus and stellar gateway chakras within the fifth dimension. This is a state of spiritual elevation to live within higher potential as you realize all are connected and integrate your belief of the divine in all within your way of life. The stellar gateway is the highest chakra known, almost like the pinnacle to a mountain top. The journey is parallel to the sum of your experiences at this point as you understand your divine spark, your true divine spark. Navigating around the pitfalls of ego, its access point is life within the 12th dimension. To summarize, when we ground the highest point of our chakras or energy centers, we are able to grasp the divinity of all lessons learned and hold integrity within our drive. So the amber is like almost rooting you. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very nice. Spirit, is there anything else that you'd like to go ahead and convey in here or and or ancestors? Yes. Okay, that's one. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> the, you know what? Some of these cards are pretty sexual if you really look at it because when you think of being intimate to whatever degree, to whatever capacity, to whatever role that plays in a relationship, when you look at the individual factor here, the one that's highlighted, it's sexualized in a very discreet way. It's not showing any body parts, nothing is unclothed, just the positioning. Life has a very like sexual undertone to it, right? Doesn't it? It's like the base, the canvas. What do you do to highlight the raw piece of your canvas to make the colors, the the highlights of your painting pop. That makes sense. Yeah, being able to reveal that the the beauty of the actual canvas itself. I think if I were if I were a painter, I would do something like that because it doesn't mean you have to cover every inch of the canvas with a hue. You can use the canvas itself as a as a showcase to bring the painting to life, to the subject to life. That the canvas, the bare canvas, is the core, is the foundation from which, you know, the colors are set upon. That we're all pretty much the same, that canvas. Oh, shit. Sorry. I think I'm gonna paint. I think I'm gonna paint that. That's. I'm gonna be an artist, everyone. Well, I'm already an artist. Um... Oh look, there's the tree branches are like they've come to life. There's spirits on it. Whereas the other one didn't depict that. They've come out. They've been lured by the page of wands. One, two, I think. Oh, I have to sneeze. Yeah, <sighs> I don't like sneezing. I sneeze like a big guy. Like a big guy that doesn't like that lives in Jersey, that has subs every day, uh, yeah, it kind of sits like this, right? Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Oh, I sneeze like one, yeah. No regard for anything else. I gotta sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze all daintily. Achoo! Achoo! No, I don't do that. Never done it before, don't know how to do it. If I could, I would, but I don't. So, it's almost like he's riding on a bull, like how women are sexualized on those barbels. Anyway, the branches carry these two spirits. One is fishing with three, looks like three pentacles, illuminated. And if you think about it, it's not, not just companionship, that's like, camaraderie that's 
working together. That's building something together. Oh, it looks like this person is doing that, looking for that opportunity. With this Knight of Pentacle that's coming through, you see how like other spirits are coming off to the side? They're making themselves known within the matrix. They're actually very interested in this guy's drawing the attention of all of these other local people. He takes his time deliberately in discerning his moves, being the most contemplative of his cast. Wait a sec, what? Is this a love reading? Oh my gosh, what is going on? It is a love reading, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this came up first and then this is like, so she's doing her thing, she's doing her creative thing, right? And then off comes this night, like off, you see? Oh my gosh, even the branches match. Do you see that? I'm not crazy. Look at it. I'm not crazy. Holy crud. Even the little branch comes together. Anyway. Okay, so this dude comes in. And he's going to present the fourth, fourth pentacle. The fourth pentacle within this card. There's no pentacles on this one. In alternative aspect, it's about taking your time to fit the puzzle pieces into place. Approaching yourself with harmonic compassion and going after what you want. Also realizing what you're good at. This takes time and patience because the process requires it, regardless of how we feel about it. The means to an end is simply taking full ownership or accountability for our endeavors. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the fourth pentacle, right? It's part of the whole matrix. That's possession. Handling your, your wealth. Obsession? Like, holding something down, like, in a good way or a bad way. Seizing more control. Remember, this doesn't come on the outside until it happens within first. The Four of Pentacles primarily tells us that we show up for ourselves. The harmonization is the law of attraction manifested on multiple tiers. So this isn't just about attraction, but the acts that precede it. The only way it can be done is harmonizing beyond its audible form, which means we need to stop playing the violin and invest in other gestures that prompt expansion, not just familiarity. Let me look it up here. Oh, I'm curious on how they say it too. Four of Pentacles is a possessive spirit, always wanting to be in control, living within self-created limitations, highly averse to change, changed, chained by one's own weakness. Ooh, snap! This is that guy. If you're dealing with a guy. Or if you are that guy, that's that's what this is saying. That's part of your conflict, your, the lesson that you need to learn in life, yes? It's a baggage we may carry, also depicting inquiry to our pursuits based on how invested we are. Are you not burdened by that? Or do you no, not know someone that depicts that? You know, in the dating scene also, there's this thing about guys feeling like they're lacking because they don't have enough coin and they think that the coin is what makes a deal that without it it's a deal breaker which is to a certain degree if you're going to look at it in a callous way if there are so many options out there then why would one settle for someone with the lack of practical support right when you oversimplify the equation to a relationship then you shouldn't expect anything more than equal return it's true product and form resulting from your investments. But that's like so old fashioned to completely sever an opportunity because you're not there yet. But what if you're on your way to there? It makes me think that there are excuses that you're going to allot the position of complacency or stagnancy to saying that, well, it's not enough for you. Well, who are you to decide if it's enough for me? that it doesn't need to drive directly into romantic companionship you start out as friends first right it's starting to get to know each other you know you don't have to have all the coins you, you might as well just start dating when you're retired anyway sorry i got a little yeah okay so he's coming to this lady eyes fixed towards that destination how great that's oh my gosh that's what so anyway the knight of pentacles it looks like he carries the ace of pentacles which he he may okay he may be that well established on a material plane or maybe is getting there he, that's part of his own 
human condition, his life experience, that bind to wealth, to expanding the idea of wealth into something more than monetary, mm -hmm. to not let it hold you down. Mm -hmm. Mm, so is not to let it burden your human experience. There's so much more to life than that, right? So anyway, he brings the Ace of Pentacles, you know, in, in spirit, mm -hmm, in intention, to this lady. Cool. All right. Okay, spirit, is there anything else? That is so weird. You know, part of the challenge in, in editing these videos, is, because they're so lengthy, is that I have to think about what what to name these things and there's so much in between okay we got these three together seven of wands six of wands and judgment at a glance it means you will overcome your trials victoriously, victoriously because you took the high road you got the upper hand thus it's your karma to come out as a winner okay let's take a look at that competition I mean, how nice is that? How it, it progresses from seven to six. Because the six of wands is like a victory, it's celebration. Guy has like basically slain the beast and had it retreat back into its shell. And so he stands upon this base of victory. And then judgment. Judgment is about applying discernment, the manifestation of decision making. Therefore, redemption or karma. Look up these angel numbers as I received other messages in editing. Judgment always gives me this implication of divine intervention in a way that they call out the scoreboard like bum, bum, bum. Yeah. the end of a game to announce the winners is divine intervention. Maybe you could read it out in a certain in a different way. You tell me. From what we talked about Okay. Looking at all of this, oh my gosh, we're going to get it straight here. Don't you worry. Okay. You tell me what you see. It's funny. My eyes are just popping out. So it was like Wilson, that neighbor that always gives advice in home improvement. That's TV sitcom. All right. This angel is announcing the truth. Maybe it's Archangel Gabriel in judgment. You see, like it's call out of those that have transformed, that have actually answered the beck and calls. 